Yo right, guys, welcome to this video. We thought we'd do a video just on the build up for Arsenal Spurs. As we ain't got a Spurs fan, I'm going to go down as a residential neutral and try and put a bit of uh, non bias bias onto it. General thoughts about the game? I think we'll win, but anything can happen. Not confident, they are. I was confident, no. Can why? Because every time I'm said we're going to fucking smash somebody, it never fucking happens. Yeah, but you did, no, to be fair though, you didn't think that about Villa. No, no, I thought, I, I thought it would be a tough game against them, and yeah. I think it will be a tough game against uh, Spurs. Because, you know what the problem with Spurs is? Is you don't know what Spurs is going to turn up. Because one week they could get smacked <laughs> about 4-0, and then next week they go slap Sunday 4-0. Look yeah, at what they've done. They beat Villa, and then the next game week they were pish. Oh, it was I, think a they have, I think they could have arguably beat you lot on the first leg, on the first leg of the Emirates. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a stupid thing to say. Like, the chance um, in the second half... But I feel like we took our, our foot off their throats to begin with. But yes, I get your point. That's a very backhanded compliment. But anyway, we'll go into it. You lot have had five days rest. Those are over two weeks rest. Do you think that's anything, anything put into it? Um, You know what? In the Premier League, it shouldn't necessarily matter, to be honest. I guess it's I one think... of those debates, isn't it? It's like City... City players and they're always going about how they want a game every three, four days yeah. to keep on uh, keep on a cycle. But then like us, if we play three times a week, we look shit. So it's like, it's like half and half. And I, I think we'll do him a favour. I think Poro pulled up with a knock, but he's fit now after two weeks, he, of, after two weeks of being on a stretcher. I think with Arsenal playing every couple of days, every like four, four days, it benefits us because I feel we're more used to it. I think with the Spurs team, because some of them are quite new to the league and is new to the team, they might not play every four days. So it could play into their hands for the longer rest. But I feel when you have a longer rest, it takes longer to kind of get back into the swing yeah. of things. Well, if if Villa get if Villa get a win on Saturday night, that puts nine points between them and Spurs. So... You could probably argue that the top four spots go in. Are Spurs fans wanting the win to stop you lot win the league or to get in the top four? No, they just want to stop us. I watched the video before and they're like, I'll do anything for us to win the league. And it's like, oh, really? Martin Keown kind of summed it up better. They're more focused on us losing the league than they might actually fucking finishing anything. Are you on about his talk sport stuff today? <laughs> yeah. You, I, knew, I was actually going to bring this up at the end, but I'll bring it up now. That's fine. He is one of the most biased. Fucking not, I, 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 I agree with that. I totally is, but there's parts of it you agree with. Oh, do you know why? But yeah, but he's he's putting it as it's a slight towards Tottenham. It isn't. If Tottenham were going for a league and you lot weren't, you would want to beat them just to stop the league. Every nah. single rival fans like that. Of course it is. Nah, you're, but you're partially a Celtic fan. You don't want Rangers to win the league. I'd say that's just not happening, is it? No, yeah, but you get what I mean. Like, I don't. Yeah, I wanted to beat you lot and not see them win the league. I don't give a fuck about top six. I can't stand you. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, but I get that. But it, it's kind of like a flippant comment. You know what I mean? Yeah, but he's trying to put the boot in the throat because if you actually listen to the whole video, it was like, oh, all they want is like to stop us from the league. And it's, you know, they've never really won anything in the last 40 years. And he was just digging out and digging out and digging out. I love this Spurs fan that came on. I don't know if you saw it, like heard it. He came no, I didn't know. He was like, he was like, uh, you're calling us. You're calling us like obsessed with you. He went uh, like we've got like we're, like we play arrogant and that. He's like you have a you have a dog called Win. It should be called Bottle. Um, he was like, uh, what else did he say? He was like, you're a North, it's North London derby, but you're not even a North London club. And he started going through it, and it was like Martin Keown was sitting there like he was sitting on his hands, letting him speak, and it was. I love no, the North London one. Fair enough. The dog called Win. Get it. But. It's kind of a... That's a glass-ass comment. Kettle. It's pot kettle black, isn't it? I mean, yeah, we didn't... We are only in it for fucking 60 seconds. I mean... Um, we'll go into a... I've dropped it on you at the start before we video before we recorded, but I'll, uh, I'll put a uh, com combined 11, if you'd like. I won't argue too much, but I will argue when it gets stupid. Um... I think we'll the very first one we're going to have a bit of a disagreement on. We'll, we'll go 4 3 3 and we'll start from goalkeeper and then right to left. Okay? So we'll go goalkeeper. 
Raya. I like Vicario. No, no. <laughs> I don't even really disagree with it, and I get it. Because Vicario has been class, he has. But Raya has basically won the Golden Glove already for most clean sheets, and he I hasn't even. He didn't I even said start this the other week, though. Is I think the Golden Glove stat is a bit of a. Like, it, it, I think you need to take that with how many shots they faced. I'm okay with putting Raya in there, but I don't think he's a better keeper than Vicario. Oh, no, I think they're, I think they're close. And I think Vicario in his first season in the Premier League has been class. He's been, he definitely been top, one of the top three keepers this season. Definitely but Vicar- has. But, but Raya, I'll let, I'll let you have a final say. Raya, Raya, Raya goes in, but the thing with facing shots and goal... Yeah, keepers. Are, I get it, but does that not just show the holes in as far as defence? If he's facing more, they're facing yeah. more shots than Arsenal. No, no, completely. What I'm saying is though, I, I always think see with the clean sheet stat, always tie it in with the shots faced. Because if you've got a high shots faced and a high clean sheet, you're a good keeper. If you've got low low shots faced and low clean sheets, you're a shit keeper. And if you've got in the middle, then it's then it's transversible. But I, I don't. It, hmm. There's an argument for both. I would put Raya in just for the sake of he's going to win the Golden Glove this year. Yes. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, right back. We're not going to get a Spurs player in this fucking lineup, are we? No, because I want to say Pedro Porro because of Ben White, except for the last game. Ben White started to kind of get on my fucking tits. I'm not going to lie. As a so right back. I'll put Poro in as I an out and out. That's fine. I agree with Poro. He's everything I want in a winger. Wing back, yeah, sorry. The thing is, I love Ben White, but he isn't a right back. Nah. No. You know what? And this is, I've, I've clarified it the other day when the Bayern go, he jogged out there to fucking yeah. get there. Poro's, he's, nah, he's, he's, he's always touched tight. That's what you want your fullbacks to be. Yeah, yeah. Poro. I don't like Poro. I think his attitude fucking stinks, but he's, He's in. We could have got. He's having a brilliant season as well. Uh, centre back partnership. Saliba. I would put Mickey Van der Ven in if he hadn't had that long injury stint. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll put Gabriel in there. I saw that one coming. <laughs> no, but if Mickey Van der Ven was fit, because I think I think Mickey Van der Ven is he is class. If he didn't have that spell out, he would be in. Okay, I, 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 I'd put Mickey van der Ven in there. I'm trying to be the voice of reason. I just I don't rank Gabriel Gabriel, though. You know how I stand on that boy. Yeah, no, no, uh, no, no. I think he's useless. Not useless, sorry. No, he isn't useless. He's... Uh, well, actually, I made this. I made the argument last week. I think Mickey van der Ven is better than, than Gabriel. I don't think I need to reiterate that. Um, I, I think he can be. I think Mickey van der Ven can, and I think he's shown, he's shown it before he got injured, but it's the injury spell. For Although me. that hard game against Newcastle last week when he was on an ice rink twice, that's that's bad. Like, he's like made a mug out of him. Um, yeah. We'll go to the left back. Is there an argument anywhere from an Arsenal perspective? Nah, you doggy. That again, right? When you when you go through this 11, because there's a couple of positions like this, is, I agree with you, by the way, is you don't, ha- you don't have a left back. No, we really do. Have a right back. You know what? Zinchenko's more of a midfielder transformed into left back. Kiv was a centre back transformed into left back. You can put you need... put Tommy Asu or, or Timber in there. Where are you doggy? Timber played one game. That played half a game. Oh, yeah. and I love Timber, but you have to kind of be real. Oh, you can be quick, all you want. Yeah. If Timber performs the last three four games of the season, you'll be in. Um. He's fit, but apparently. Yeah, for the weekend. You have to be destiny in. You, you just have to be. I'd agree with that. Uh, midfield three. Could we just unanimously say that and Rice? I don't think there's even an argument there. No, that, yeah, definitely right. isn't there. I think Rice gets in any combined eleven. I think you could argue apart from City, um, and even City. I think at the moment it's a bit of a half and half with Rodri. The other two, up the other two. I, I so I'll let you. I say, well, actually, can we can we can we agree that Erdegaard's in there as well? I was going to say the two. Is Erdegaard class of mid, midfield? He is, isn't he? Yeah, he's a te- he's the ten. He's the yeah. ten of the midfield. So uh, we'll call- nice in Odegaard. I like Madison, but Odegaard's. Who's your third? 
This is where I don't know. Can I just because, put it out yeah, there? Yeah, well, you have Benton Cool, you have Basuma, you have Papa Sal. For me, for me, a box to box A is a in that position. It's a, it's Papa Sal. So, um, but me. the thing with me, as I haven't watched Spurs that often this season, my but advice is don't put Cavertz. Well, no, he wasn't in. No, he's a fucking midfielder anyway. Um, uh, every time I've watched Papa Sar, he hasn't been amazing, but he ain't been shit either. He's just okay. been there. Do you yeah. know what, like, I mean is back in the day for Chelsea? Yeah, okay, yeah. Like, he wasn't, he wasn't hearing the fucking pitch up, but he also wasn't the first one to be subbed off. By the way, Basuma at the start of the season would probably get in that team as well and push Rice further into an eight, but Basuma has been terrible in the last couple of months. Absolute yeah. shit. Benton Kerr, on the other hand, has had the best season in Spurs shit that he's ever had. Because he's been injured half the time. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> I mean, when he's came back in, though, he has been good. Um, <sighs> it's just... It's like choosing... Okay, mate, one, that, mate, this is what this is what I was on about about a left back, right back, and that centre mid position. Because you lot don't, you Arsenal don't have an alternative to put in there. You know what? If Thomas Party was more consistently in the squad, he would be in there. But he's only had one good game, and that was against Chelsea. So you have to put Papi Sarr in. Quality. Or do you uh, in fuck, we'll go Papi Sarr. I've, a, I've got a, I've got an eleven. I'll run to you after we do our, after we do the combined, and I'll tell you what I thought you were going to do before the video, right? Because yeah, it is yeah. almost picturesque. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. Right wing Saka. Who's the Who's the right wing? Brennan Johnson. Kudelski. Uh, ben, right, Brennan Johnson can play over there, I guess. Even Saka's fucking worst performance he gets in. <laughs> um, do you want to go left wing or striker? Go left wing, why not? Right, left so, left wings are left wings are weird one just, for me. Are we just going off this season? Yeah, yeah. So I'll go off. I'll go off right now. This season's performances. Um, this is Trust what up. makes it. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to go Martinelli, but it's close between him and Brennan Johnson for me. Really? Okay. They've had very similar seasons. I think they've both got about the same. Goal involvement. I don't know what Trossard's is like. You know, you know what? And this, this is not a slate to Brendan Johnson because I like them at Forest. Mine now, he's had a poor season. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. You but know, I don't rate Trossard. I, I want, I, uh, me, I want a fast direct winger. That's what I, that's my. Yeah, my but I think thing. if you look at Trossard, right? He's, he's dug us out of a few holes. Yeah, no, he, he, that. he's got big goals. He's going back into the tie against Bayern. Uh, yeah. Arguably, we didn't do anything in the second leg. Um, he scored the first against Chelsea. He was quite one of the main components on Tuesday night. He scored, uh, I think he scored something like three goals in the past five games he's had. Yeah. Like, no, he's, big, he, he's a big game. He's not more, I don't know about a big game player. He's a big moments player for me. Yeah. Um, well, he, seems in there. he seems to just be calm, you know. Just. Yeah. Well, it was Tuesday night that uh, Gilchrist slid him, like went through him, and he just, he just loved it. He just, he yeah. just loved the contact side of it, and was like getting the crowd up. Like that's what you want. Martin Ellie yeah. never had. I feel I like him, but his I his football IQ just isn't there. Do we need? So, a, do we need a question striker? There's no question, is there? I mean, go for it. If you've got an argument for it, go for it. But I'm already writing the name down because I just don't see any argument. But go on. <laughs> I really want to put Havertz in there, ain't you? I really want to put Havertz in there as a centre forward slash striker. No, 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 because you can what? Every poor game he's had has been in midfield. So the most put, the time you put Havertz, Havertz in there then? I'm putting Havertz in there. Right. Just uh, so I'm just, just, I'm just, in there. To the so audience. To the audience, I put Son there, by the way. Um Well, oh, okay, I wouldn't have put okay, I didn't realise that. Oh, but Son hasn't been okay, I did I didn't realise that. I mean yeah. you you were you were taking the piss out of me for putting Sark at fucking left when but it's fine. He's literally, he's literally played striker most of the season. Yeah, yeah. But he's one of those, right? 
he hasn't been spoken about. I think no, he's I been think really good. I think, no, but you know what I mean? Every week we come onto the pod, we speak oh, yeah, about. Okay. Him. Yeah. He's yeah, but never. Yeah, but is that not the same as Kane though? Is that not just because like oh you look at you, you look at Sp- you look at the Spurs score and it's like oh look Son scored again that sort of thing. No, but no, no, really. I think it's different because you're still mentioning it. You, we've never mentioned Son. Brock Sport have never mentioned Son. Sky think, Sports I, I, have never mentioned Son. Big, big comment. I genuinely, I, I think he's the most clin- I think he's the most clinical forward in the league. I think, yeah, no, he can what? I don't like him because he plays for Spurs. Yeah, no, I but obviously, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He is, he's really good. I just think this season, he, I bet can, he hasn't really took my attention to anything right. he's done. All right. To be honest. He started off the season well, and then he just kind of went a bit fish. Okay. Uh, manager. Oh, Arteta. I post a because I like them as well, like, but I'm putting Arteta in there. Okay, I was thinking Ange, um, and it's not to dig like a little thing back to Arsenal, but Arteta's won absolutely fucking nothing and won FA Cup. So it's just Yeah, no, I. but two seconds. Ange Postacoglu has come into a team and got top four almost. With right, two Christian. seconds. You can't do this for Arteta. You can't go, these one fuck all, but so is Ange. I get that. No, I'll tell you. Though. He's won he's won everywhere he's went. Apart from Spurs this first season. He's won everywhere he went though, so far. I don't think we've been beaten off a top six side this season. Villa. No, they, no, they, no, sorry, the big six, not top six. The big six. Um no, he's done the double against Chelsea, he got four points off City, four points off Liverpool. Who've won against Spurs United. Got a point off United. Yard. Yeah, you got United. So you got United still and Spurs still. I don't know whether you can Chelsea in that top six at the moment, but no, nah, they're still um, there. They're, not, they're still the big six. You know what I mean? No, but you know what? If you look at a couple of years ago, our defense was leaking goals, leaking shots. Now our defense is in the at the fucking other box. Did did, did Arteta sign Saliba? No, we Unai did. Emery? Yeah. Fucking hell. Nicking the it other man. We, we signed them from Sinetti and loaned them back out mm. to Sinetti and I think for the rest of that season or next again. Then he played at Marseille and then he joined us. I don't, I'll ask you all pertinent question. Um, Sunday. 90 minutes. What's the score? What does it end up as? Arsenal going to win. A yep. tightly contested game. And the score will be... <laughs> What are Spurs' injuries? Uh, the only one that I know of is you, Doggy, who will probably be Ben Davies at left back right now. Ah, uh, two 0 Two 0 Okay. Um, I I I think two two. Um, I think we'll get Joy down that left side now. So I so I think you, Doggy, being out of that defence and putting Ben Davies actually on the left back is going to do him a favour. By putting because you've got pace in Mickey Van der Ven and Ben Davis doesn't go forward. Ben just, Davis, just... Uh, Ben Davis has got a fucking. He's got a what's it called? He's got a mistake in him, like a big one. I rate that him, and he's a Welshman. Him. That means something. No, but you know what I, mean? I think he's got a mistake in him. He's going to get spun, and something's going to happen, or he's getting sent off. It's a two like, I, I want to see a red card. I want to see, like, I don't know, someone's I'm red card. Nayan no, no, no Romero, if he's 2 0 down in the 60th minute, he will go through Saka. Oh, but you can't know what? The last, like, fucking three red cards Spurs have had against us, it's been, oh, it should never be sent off. No, no, he should have. Fuck, I went through the cunt. You know what I mean? Hey, like, fuck off. It's a London derby, mate. Everyone wants to see I, it. I think, I think it'll be juicy. I think it'll be the best one we've had in years. The only the only thing I said is I've said this to to a Spurs fan that I know for the last maybe month is I think if you get is if you make White Hart Lane a, a cauldron when Art, when the Arsenal team walk in walk walk out sorry is I think you've got a chance of getting their heads but you need you to know, make it you need to make it lad you know like um do you know like uh, was it Galatasaray earlier in the season for Man United 
Yeah. When they, had, when they had all the banners up and that, and the fucking we are we are watching you, or we are coming for you, whatever it was. And it's like that sort of thing, trying to trying to get in their heads and make them shit their pants a bit. I think that's the only way you get um, this Arsenal team. Otherwise, I don't think they can. Well, Bayern did. And I, I, no, I, Bayern did, but it's different, and I'll explain why. We the past three seasons we have played Tottenham in the last six games of the season. In the past two of them, we have folded. I think this year. It's been drilled into the team. We do not fucking fold this one. Is this been I, a f- I, don't, I don't think Arteta... No, no, but I don't think Arteta is allowing this to fucking fold. If City... You know what? If City go for the rest of the season winning every game, fair play. But yeah. I don't... I think Arteta, he's not allowing a loss anymore. He's not allowing it. You can see it. Because who okay. scored? I think it was Ben White scored, and he was stone faced. He was just like, "Go again." Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I I wouldn't read too much into that Chelsea win. It's not a dig to Arsenal, just Chelsea and miles behind. Yeah, no, 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 no
But you put Havertz in there, so it is what it is. This season I have, yeah. Uh, that is mad, by the way, but it's fine. Don't worry. The viewers will decide. Harvard. It's nothing to do with me. Oh. Ken, what? Harvard has had more rave about him than Son has. What? Okay. Uh, go tell me the last thing the, the media said about Son this season. No, 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 no. I agree. Havertz has been in the been in the news all season, and he and he will be till next year as well. Um, I think he will be through next season. The problem is just Havertz is you 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 don't know where he plays. It's all well you and pro- good. Play him as a centre forward striker. You do know where he plays because we had this issue against Villa in Bayern. You put yeah. him in midfield, we don't play well. But, but it's what a I mean, no. But what I mean is, is if you put him in striker, you're not getting twenty goals a season out of him. And you I think we need that to win the league. Oh, I right, think yeah. we can. If, that's, if we, that's the headline if, of the video, there, Gav. No, because if we if we can if we can get a, a winner that can cross a fucking ball, that wants to cross a ball, I think he can. Okay. Because he gets in, he gets into the dangerous positions. You see at corners, he's always lurking about the back post, waiting for the tapping and stuff. I think he can. I think his problem is is when he goes one on one, he tries to just. Oh, he's, he's, it. he's Bambi and Ice when he has a touch. Um, anyway, right. We'll go out to the pod. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I think 2-2. Two, two. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I think they probably sit back after they get the draw. I don't think your point does them a favour, but I'm not going to lie to you. I think everyone in that Spurs stadium, we wanted them to sit back to, to take the point off you. Because I think if you lose points, you've, you've lost the league. But anyway, we'll discuss it on the pod in a couple of days. Good luck, son. <laughs>